morning, Bernadette TV, and today we're talking about the hidden money in your business. You may or may not have heard of a very old book which is called Acres of Diamonds, and there's an interesting story of Acres of Diamonds. It's basically about a farmer who leaves his farm and goes traveling the world in search of diamonds, but does not realize until, unfortunately, after he, he dies, and then the people around him realize that diamonds were actually in his backyard at his farm all along. And I think one of the reasons why this is such a popular story is because most of us, when we hear it, uh, hear the inherent truth in it. And it's that very often, our tendency is to go looking for opportunities outside of ourselves or wish for a different starting point. And because of that, we don't always notice the opportunities that are right under our nose. And the reason I wanted to do this episode is because as I look back on my own business journey, I realized that the moments where I've had real breakthroughs of moving through a plateau or like, you know, a dramatic leap in my business hasn't been from doing something new or very different or chasing some sexy or shiny bright object. It's almost always come from a reworking of something that was already in my business, already working, and then just reworking it to make it work better or to optimize it. So this episode is the start of four episodes in total where I'm gonna be showing you where to look inside of your business to find the hidden money. So in this episode, as well as just introducing uh, the theme of the hidden money in your business, I wanted to talk to you about what, why we actually have this barrier, like what stops us from you know, seeing those opportunities. And it really is habit. Like if, if you have a belief that everything you need or desire is somewhere that outside of you, of course you're gonna go hunting for it, searching for it. Of course you're gonna be you know, on the quest for that missing piece, that external bit that you think is gonna make the difference. And you almost have to train yourself to start to look at what's currently in place. So something that's really helped me is to remember the path to anything I want in business or in life starts from where I am right now. One of my mottos that has massively helped me in business is to do what you can with what you've got from where you are. So always, anytime you're looking to do something, is always to look at what do I already have? What is already there that I can repurpose, reuse, optimize, tweak, improve, basically to start where you are. And that might sound obvious, but it's very interesting to me how many people don't get started at all. And the reason they don't start is because they're wishing for a different starting point. If only I was older, if only I was younger, if only I was more educated, if only I was less educated, if only I had started this five years ago, if only I was starting this five years from now. Many people never get started at all because they're simply wishing for a different starting point. So the first thing is to trust that the path to what you want starts from where you are. And the next thing is to, is to almost train yourself to start to look for the opportunities. Don't just make the assumption that something you want is out there. It's, it's really to start to look at what do I already have in place and how can I reuse that? So this way of thinking has actually become a habit that I've forcefully had to train myself <laughs> to do. Um, and and it's, I just wanted to share that with you and to really help you to start to ask yourself the questions that get you looking at what you've already got rather than just assuming that there's something out there that you need. So I hope this has helped you and I hope you'll join me for episode two, three and four of this series where I'll be showing you the specific areas that I look at inside of a business to help me see the opportunities too for hidden money. So join me on the next episode. I shall see you there.